Baby was born with perfect hair. His name was Connor and he didn't even care. When he looked in the mirror, the mirror said I. Then he said, What? Is it I nah? Is it I so I've got to go? Press the button and start the show. Give me two seconds while I blow my nose. Clear my throat and pick my hole. You're now tuned into the Connor Gillespie show. Hello and welcome to the Connor G Show. I'm your host, and this is the Connor G Show. Tonight, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the working class podcast have been in touch. Kneecap sue the British government. A hilarious update from SP Tide on the world. Young Spencer gets his girlfriend to film him smoking a joint. Rare Witch takes over Electric Picnic. New Koo Holland. Jed and the creepy Christians get involved in a crypto scam, question mark. Belfast goes bonkers for Kevy 4X and the K-Hole crew. Switch gets ditched. And Demon becomes MZ. All that and more coming up for you tonight on the exhilarating Connor G Show. Ah. <laughs> yes, everyone, welcome in. I am so glad to see you all here. Thank you for that raid, Jungle Bunker. Welcome in, Coley B, Dublet Kick One. Welcome in. We've got Rob, Disgrace of the Wicked Android, Steve Man, Ducky Mia, chiming in from <laughs> a pub somewhere. I'm not going to pub dox you, even though you said it yourself. Welcome in, Prod by G Dot. We've got G <laughs> Deep Tuned in the House. Welcome in, everybody. This song is Apollo on Telefax with sex on an ast astrakhan fur coat. Excuse ye. So how did my little table of contents sound for everyone tonight? Of course, I've got way more than that. And we might not get to everything, so don't get your hopes up. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, welcome in everybody. We've got Real Ethan Mac the Rapper in the house. That's some card, says Disgrace. Oh my god, Disgrace, you should see what I find for you. <laughs> now, I could have just sent this to you by yourself and I would have been satisfied and it wouldn't have hurt so much to keep this a secret. But um, it's going to be a good surprise for the show and I think me and you will get the biggest kick out of it. And uh, judging by the woman that lives in my house with me's response when I uh, told her, she was a bit, uh, she was a bit like, "Oh, that's all." But for the rest of us, it's going to be a very good show. <laughs> oh, I got a very funny surprise coming up for you about SP Tide on the World. And uh, yeah, um, so glad to see you all here tonight. This is the best I have felt since I last saw you last Monday. Wait, I was this close to canceling the show last minute. I've been under the weather. Get the balls. But I feel fantastic now. So we've got a little bit of dirty dinners to start off with. <clears throat> Let's see. Uh, I'm going to send you the videos of 10 Wee Caramel Joeys on a fishing line. Oh, I love Wee Caramel, 10 Wee Caramel Joeys. Have you heard about we uh, jammy joeys as well? That's Seamus prefers the uh, jammy joeys. <laughs> Cheers, everyone. This is the Connor G Show. We got Don Chi in the house. Everyone thank Don Chi for dirty dinners tonight. It was going to be all local rappers, but then Don Chi stood in the last minute with a little video that perfectly describes the symptoms that I've been suffering from for the last few days. And I've literally just gotten over them this second as I pressed go live. So uh, what a wonderful spectacle it is to see all your names in the chat here tonight. Uh, Ducky Meow admits that we use jammy joys because the caramel ones are only sold on upper. <laughs> right, okay. 
So uh, let's get stuck right into it tonight. There's no time to waste here. We got a giant jump pack show. I hope I can get to it all. But uh, did anyone hear that Switch has been ditched? What do I mean by that? You're going to have to wait till much later on to find out. Right, pick it up. Oh, did any of it? <laughs> Talking me on, did you just hear any of my Wee Caramel Joey remixes that I've been doing? Basically, anytime I play Jungle on my new uh, radio channel, uh, I've been remixing 10 Wee Caramel Joeys. Pretty much any Jungle track that where which is made, I have been mixing that into every single Jungle set. Oh, that Wee Caramel Joey song goes with everything. DJ Boring has a fantastic song that mixes perfectly with 10 Wee Caramel Joeys. Uh, everyone else apart for me, Ducky Meal and Rare Witch, uh, don't know what the hell we're going on about here, but, uh... Alright, this is the Rare Witch Show! Ducky Meal, did you or Rare Witch catch my reference, uh, when was it last week, uh... What was I talking about? Oh, yeah, how people talk to Jelvis as if he's disabled. It was like, oh, uh, Leambo Slice goes to Jelvis. He goes, uh, we've got a wee song here to listen. We've got a wee song here for you to listen to. And it reminded me of... Uh, <laughs> 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 we've got the wee man in from Carmel Joey's Anonymous. When you wanna use the kitchen. All right, sorry, everyone. We're starting the show now. No more chat between me and Dougie Mia. Private chat that we've just been having live on air here. Dirty, dirty dinners. These are dirty, dirty dinners. All right. Dirty, dirty dinners. These are dirty, dirty dinners. All right, big up, Staunchy, for this one. This is Dirty Dinners, okay? Here we go. This is um, Dalton Trey 99 this fella is called, and this is his little video. Trigger warning, gagging. Sorry about this, everyone. But, you know, it's funny. All right, y'all, this is my third attempt at trying to rank this food. Let's see. A baked bean pizza with eggs. That's <laughs> fucking disgusting. That's eight. A cookie hamburger? I ate the fuck out of that. That's number one. Frosty Flakes and cheese. I don't know what the thought about that cheese and that milk, but that's making me fucking sick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like, you sent me this, uh, Don Chi, earlier, and I got to this point, and I was crying laughing because I have been in the exact situation as this. And uh, Don Chi doesn't know that. But this part especially, I started to cry like he is. It's making me fucking right there. See in that seat, I was sitting right there, crying my eyes out to this here. <laughs> Frosty flakes and cheese. <laughs> I don't know what the thought about that cheese and that milk, but that's making me fucking sick. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for the bad language. This is a PG stream, but come on, it's funny. It's a six. Is that hot dog Wheaties? <laughs> <laughs> mm -mm. That's a nine. That's disgusting. <laughs> An octopus and a chick. That's a ten. Right. Get out here. Okay, look at that. <laughs> Sorry, <dude. coughs> Sorry. Seven. I don't fucking hate fish, y'all. <laughs> Clam chowder. That's a five. <laughs> Ham and bananas. What the fuck is that? Cheese. That's a four. That that. That could be worse. <laughs> Noodles and oranges. Who the fuck would eat that? <laughs> but I mean, it's a three. <laughs> what is that? Modi piss? Oh, baloney. <laughs> mm -mm, that's two. There you go. <laughs> that was dirty dinners. <laughs> that was dirty dinners. <laughs> oh, I swear to God. Oh, that's been me all week with normal food that isn't disgusting weird foods. Oh, shit. Dirty, dirty dinners, these are dirty, dirty dinners. Dirty, dirty. That made me uh, cry. Oh, you know, I was doing this earlier. Surprise, uh, you very rarely watch a video twice and you get the same reaction out of it. Woo! So, we're back on top now. We're back on top of our game. Oh, God, that's good. Woo! So, this one is Alesso Kalina with all of that. So if at any point tonight I go green or white or we have to end the show at any point, it's just because I've been a little bit pearly and I haven't got over it yet. 
But if we do, uh, if I do have to shut the show off early tonight, then uh, I'll be back as soon as possible. I'm not waiting another full week. I'll be straight back like tomorrow or the next day or something, okay? Woo! Right. Forget about Dirty Dinners. Forget about the illness. We're back on top of our games. We're Kevy 4 x I am Kevin 4 x Whenever I want to get my confidence up, I just tell myself that I am Kevin 4 x Kevy 4 x Kevy Four Eyes, Kevy Four Skin, Kevy Weed, Kevy Fuck It Top. We've got Kevy Four X is literally taking over the whole rap scene. He's taking over the game. I'm surprised Kevy Four X wasn't on John Sue's new album. All right here we go. We have tonight. Lil Rooney's cooking up something special for the boys. Something for the crew. Lil Rooney is practically Drake uh, these days, by the way. I don't know if you know. Uh, he's still uh, holding on to that little uh, br- uh, love heart shaved into his hair that Drake had about, I think, th- uh, four years ago now. Maybe Drake had that. Lil Rooney's persisting with it. Uh, but uh, he has dropped a photo shoot after snippet after photo shoot and you know he's making the rest of you rappers look bad the only one who is coming close to Lil Rooney's game is Kevy 4 x okay and that's the truth so I think we watched this one last time let's check out this little photo shoot here let's get in a little bit closer to this here look at these look at this colorway right he's got the blue jeans matching the blue lights uh the saturation is all um cranked He's got this purple bubble goose. Yes, I call these type of jackets bubble gooses. I uh, was a child in the 90s. If anybody get the, get the reference. Pre-allegations Drake. No, everyone was uh, everyone had plenty of allegations about him back then. It's just uh, the mainstream didn't care about it until Kendrick said something. Okay, so he's got the little uh, Fanta grape drink here. Next slide, please. Now, Roni is full. He's got the beard. He's got everything. Okay, he's got the Apple Watch. <laughs> There he is, looking good. It's, uh, it's a shame uh, Instagram pixelates things so terribly. They want to save all that bitrate for themselves. I think this is a brand new snippet here. Let's check it out. Let's listen to this old one. Uh, this song that I love by Lil Rooney. Before, heard it all before. Yeah, I know, heard it all before. Yeah, I know you're bad, bad for me. me. So that was the one we watched last time. I wonder if this is going to be a new song or a different one. If this is a different song, then I'm going to assume that, excuse me. We sniff there, sorry. Uh, if this is a different song to this snippet, then I'm going to assume that this is maybe an EP rather than just a single, but this is probably the same song. Yeah, I- That's the same song. Sorry, so this is a new song. It's called Lies. I'm going to assume it's called Lies, and we're going to check out the artwork for that in a second. Look for yeah, you know you're bad, bad for me. me. This is Irish Rap News. We started on a how can we finish on a low? If this wasn't the plan, how does that was meant to go? No way. No way. You be running through my mind all day. No way. No way. You now my heart don't feel the same. Uh, Disgrace says every Rooney song sounds the same and you're absolutely right about that but um, I ain't mad at it okay (laughs) how far we have come how far we have come so there's the little hairstyle that I was talking about the CLB era Drake that was like five albums ago little Rooney time to update time to update here but this is little Rooney's gang sign the love heart let's click on this here pre-save link in bio Gone for a while, but back again. Lies comes out 22-8. 22-8, that's in a few days' time. Sadly, we do not have it. But this is the gorgeous new artwork from Little Rony. Uh, it, where, where's this? Where's this here? Is this New York City or something? Which bodega is he in here? Here we go. There he is with some toy graffiti. Is he in Belfast? This, is, this reminds me of some uh, Belfast uh, graffiti here. This sort of type of wall reminds me of Belfast. This, uh, the chrome with the yellow outlines are very Belfast. I don't recognize any of these tags. YGA. No, uh, I'm too out of the game to recognize any of the tags. So therefore, it must be another <laughs> hand heart emoji says real. Ethan Mack, the rapper. Yes, thank you for clarifying. Um, 
Really from Max says, that's Dublin from a branched timeline. His freestyle caused incursion. We got a brainiac in the chat. We got a little scientist, Ethan Mack, the scientist in the chat. Sorry, no big words this early in the show. I'm extremely stupid and I can't keep up. All right, little Roni, dying to see what you come out with. I hope to God there's going to be a music video for that. Sorry, uh, give me one second. I need to sniff deeply. Press the wrong button there. Humiliating! Alright, so from down south to up north, the kings of Belfast rap. At least the Catholic side, at least 50% anyway. We've got Kneecap. Now, remember, we last heard from Kneecap. Uh, I was uh, trying to push the narrative that Casper uh, Walsh from Versatile was dissing them over their little Kneecap stunt. Well, I say stunt, but uh, the news story, as far as I remember, you can get caught up on this in detail on Connor G, youtube.com slash Connor Gillespie. Uh, kneecap, right? If you don't know who they are, they are the Republican Trio taking over the world. They've just have a feature film drop there recently. They've been doing the festival circuits. They're absolutely killing the game. They're super popular. They're, they're the most popular uh, rap group from Ireland ever to ever exist okay apart from young spencer obviously and we got some young spencer coming up as well um they uh, applied for some funding fifteen thousand to be exact uh from the british government now they obviously hate the brits uh i one would assume from everything that they say and post online and uh they applied for some british funding uh they got awarded the funding as they should be because they're extremely talented musicians Okay, from what I can see, from what everyone says, and um, the British government, uh, I think the the politician's name was Kemi Badenoch. She uh, put her foot down and said, you're slagging off the Brits, are you? It's not a chance you're getting at 15k buys. You think you're getting five grand each over my dead body, says Cammy, okay? So I promised in that clip that you can see on youtube.com slash Connor Gillespie, I promised in that clip that you would, I would follow the story closely, and we have got one little update from this here. This is all I've seen of this here. We've got DJ Provo, I think is how his name is pronounced. There's lots of fathers, forgive me, I wasn't given the opportunity to learn Gaelic in a Protestant primary school growing up. Okay, here we go. It's the little update from Kneecap. It's a massive attack on arts and culture. I'd love to learn Irish, by the way. I would love to learn Irish. It's an attack. All right, okay, sorry. Let's rewind a second. Here's a very short clip. 14 seconds from RTE News. They've blessed us with 14 seconds. Just checking in with the chat before you watch this monumental clip for the ages. And you know what else I'm going to do? I'm going to open this with the VLC player. It's a massive attack on... It's a massive attack. Get the Brits out. I'm seeing so stupid. I must be delirious. Does anybody notice that VLC, VLC player's in dark mode? And here's something else I need to tell you about what <laughs> where you can get dark mode. ConnorG.show. If you go into your settings... On Kofi, you can change your Kofi to dark mode when you're enjoying Connor G. Show. I wish it I wish it would, I could choose how people looked at my own page. But sadly, you need to go into the settings and choose that yourself. Okay, so uh, Don G says, "Ock per Connor, lol." Don't give me any sympathy. Uh, energy drinks last time. Now on the sniff, Mister Awesome. <laughs> how dare you? How dare you? Uh, let's see. Uh, the movie is class, says really Ethan Mac the Rapper. Uh, G-Dot, the producer, also agrees with that statement. Uh, Don Chi says, I learned Irish in school from first year to third year, but they didn't let us take it for GCSE. Yeah, I went to a, a mixed 
uh, secondary school, wasn't offered to do it either. Wasn't even offered to do Spanish, which I wanted to do. Let's see. Uh, nice massive attack teardrop impression, says Rob. Thank you so much. It was like herself. All right, okay. Without further ado, it's DJ Provisional IRA. Arts and culture. Sorry. So it's a massive attack. What what they've... They weren't allowed the 15,000 from the British government who they've been rallying against with every fiber of their being since their inception. Um, they want that money. They're outside the courthouse. Let's see what he says. It's a massive attack on arts and culture. It's an attack on the Gale. It's uh, discrimination. And it's also an attack on the Good Friday Agreement, which they are supposed to be upholding. I'm just going to wait for the chat to catch up here to see what they say about that last part. Now, Kneecap are a parody band, a self-proclaimed parody band, much like my show is a parody show. Um, so I, I hope that this last... Well, I don't hope, I just... this. This last uh, line from him rings like parody, okay? It's also an attack on the Good Friday Agreement, which they are supposed to be upholding. Chat, I need to hear your opinions on this because I, I'm not into politics. I'm not into the whole Catholic versus Protestant, Republican loyalism stuff. I actively removed myself from that since a very young age, okay? Uh... <laughs> Does anybody, can anybody explain if this is absolute cod? Is he joking here? Because if he's joking, that is very funny. I laughed when I heard that part. It's also an attack on the Good Friday Agreement, which they are supposed to be upholding. So kneecap not getting that 15 thigh is an attack on the Good Friday Agreement. I don't think he's joking, says Rob. Ethan Mack says, were they not funded 1.5 million too? They want that 15 thigh, Okay. Now, I'm willing to give them the 15th thigh myself if they just drop this. No, I'm joking. They deserve every penny. Um, it's all a stunt to hype up the movie, says Steve Man. Well, that was our initial, that was our initial guess, wasn't it? That's what, that's what our initial reaction was to it. It's like, they are known to do publicity stunts like this and fair play to them, I, I guess. That's where Kevy 4 x gets the clout chasing G bug from. You know, he idolizes kneecap. Say that one more time. Let's listen to the whole thing one more time. Let's give Provo his say. It's a massive attack on... So sorry that this is the only update we've been able to get. This is, I don't this, I don't know when this is from. Arts. I just happened to see it today. Some culture. It's an attack on the Gale. The Gale. It's uh, discrimination. <laughs> Let me look at this lawyer here. It's a here. massive attack on... on Hold on. If his lawyer ends up seeing this... Some culture. It's an attack on the gale. It's uh. <laughs> Why is his lawyer Ronaldo? Discrimination, and it's also an attack on the Good Friday Agreement, which they are supposed to be upholding. <laughs> it's an attack on the Good Friday Agreement. Brilliant, brilliant. Okay, I think I, I think I figured out why I, I'm not a big fan of um kneecap. It's not to do with the. The republicanism stuff. That's pretty cool, in my opinion. Um, I think it's because... I don't know which one's which, but there's the one Mowgli Bap who we did the episode of Dirty Dinners about. And then there... Is, it, is that his name, Mowgli Bap? And then there's another one called DJ Provo, him. And then there's another one called Mo Shara, right? And Mo Shara's face is just like this here in every interview. Yeah, I'm too cool for school, yeah. Yeah, I'm just too cool for school. Yeah, I don't really care about what anyone say. I've got such a dry wit that I don't even laugh at anything hilarious that I say. I think that's why I'm not a big fan of them. Just his, his, his need to come off like such a cool dude all the time. It really winds me up. It's more of a mild irritation than it really, really winds me up. I exaggerate and parody stuff here to kneecap. Become be a guest on my podcast. Uh, let's see. <laughs> uh, that, and they really love money, says Rob. Uh, G-Dot says, I'm sure this is what they had in mind when they signed the Good Friday Agreement. Yeah. 
Uh, Donchi says, it's just a very odd publicity stunt, though. Why insert politics? Yeah, but it's not odd for them because their whole thing is politics. Taking drugs and politics. Uh, pandering. Sh pandering stuff. You know? That's how it feels. That's how it feels. I'm sure they're honest, uh, solid, honest buyers. I don't know them. I saw Moshara in Cutter's Wharf one night. He looked like a very normal person. He was wearing a nice wee jumper. He was there with his family, I assume. He wasn't going mental and killing anyone. British, Britishly. I, I'm not as funny as Kneecap, okay? I never said I was. I never claimed to be as talented as Kneecap. In fact, I don't know a single person who is more talented than me, huh? I know. <laughs> or sectarian. No, I'm only joking. Okay, so, speaking of uh, goated famous people. Speaking of ent entirely uh, talented famous people. This is... Rare Witch uh, took over Electric Picnic, okay? And this video comes courtesy of... A rapper called Violently Ill. Uh, does Violently Ill run Ill Records? I'm not familiar with him too much, but I uh, saw this reposted. Uh, check it out. This is Rare Witch, the famous Rare Witch. Uh, he recently played Glastonbury. Now he's playing Electric Picnic. Here we go. There he is wearing the Jealous Hater t-shirt. Look, made famous by Rare Witch and Electric Picnic. There it is. No, baby, I'm not listening to anybody. So here we go. Check it out. It's Rare Witch wearing 5XL. Jealous Hater t-shirt from JesterNotDead.com. Look at this here. Thank you. Big up, Rare Witch. He, he wore my uh, uh, Connor at Night t-shirt on at Glastonbury. I don't know if I mentioned that, but I was thrilled. Thank you so much, Rare Witch. Classic song by Big Al. Never stops breaking it. That's just the way I talk. Make sure it is. Know what I mean? That's just the way I talk. Make sure it is. Know what I mean? That's just the way I talk. You went and got your bop chopped. Cause I know what you got. That was Rare Witch taking over Electric Picnic. Let's see, uh, Rob says... Kneecap or pompous Egypt? Is that what I'm saying? I don't know what I'm saying. I'm just being cheeky about them. They're quite cheeky themselves, so I think they can take it. Let's see. <laughs> Rare Witch playing his famous song at a famous festival full of famous people wearing a famous t-shirt. Google Doob in the chat, welcome in. He says, it's a very high quality t-shirt. Heavy and soft. I've been complimented by three strangers and I only got mine on Saturday. Did you hear that? Thank you so much, everyone, for noticing I am here. All right, everybody. Uh, there's only one person who can outshine the caliber of performer of Rare Witch. Any guesses in the chat? Any guesses in the chat? Who's the one person who can outshine a Rare Witch? Someone like Rare Witch. Cool! <laughs> there he is, everybody! Oh, frig sick, man. Frig sick! He said the word frig! Oh my god, he's doing like a limmy type sketch here! <laughs> you know what we have to do? We have to open this up with VLC player. Oh, frig sick, man. Frig sick.
Look, he's doing a limmy. I believe this is a limmy. Yes, Koo Holland emotes in the chat. Here, mate, what are you at, lad? Look, bro, I have the bikes and beats of that next Sunday, and I need a bike I can DJ on, or I'm screwed, all right? Oh. Screwed. Frig. What curse word are you going to say next in front of your child fans? Oh my god, I couldn't be happier. Look, I don't know, should I be happy or sad? He's gone for an adult's haircut! He's got an adult's haircut! Donchi says, oh no, I hate these, those big cycling events with the decks and the speakers. I hate them too. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, I know who you need, the bike general. The bike general. Oh my yeah, god. Yeah, I'll give him a wee buzz now. <laughs> Hello, bike general. Well, bike general. Do you have a bike Koo Holland can DJ on? How does he know who Koo Holland is if he's just some random guy that's rocked up? In this scenario, I mean. Hey, let me see what I have. This guy not a good uh, as good of an actor as Koo Holland by the looks of it. Not as good as a, a com not not as much comic timing as Koo Holland. He's more of the straight man. <laughs> well, that was some terrible editing there. I'll bring the bikes, Nuri. You bring the beats. He's got the bikes. I've got the beats. We're gonna own the Nuri streets. Bikes and beats. On the street. Oh my god, is this a song he produced? Especially for this? You know, I'm gonna have to start commissioning wee songs like this, you know, for my entire show. I, I'm like this song this song I planned almost sounds like that anyway, but because of this new DJ program Twitch has uh introduced. I but my days of playing any sort of music on this show might have to come to an end and we're gonna to have to commission full songs So maybe we can sneakily get someone else to commission Koo Holland to do a, wee, a few wee songs for the show But pretend it's for something else pretend it's for the working class podcast or something Whoops Bikes and beats on the street Ah, and then a whole load of information that none of us are gonna read Beats. All right, so it's been a while since we've had any cool, and let's watch it one more time. Um, shout outs to the adult's haircut. Now that he's got an adult's haircut, I want the old haircut back. And if he changes his haircut, I'm changing my haircut. So maybe next week you'll see me with a. I'll, I'll just do this here with my hair. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of combing my hair. There, I said it. I've been keeping it a secret from you all, but I'm sick of combing my hair. It's time. Oh, freaking sick, man. Cola Nut Waffles shaved his entire head bald. So it's time for me to take measures too. I feel, I think since what happened to Rich Mix, I feel like a different person in some ways. So I want to, I want to uh, change my whole physical appearance. And I think this, I think this is the look I will actually go for. I'm not joking. My hairline's almost the same. But look how like less creepy he looks with a normal man's haircut. Sky Boy says D Squares, hundred percent says Google Do. You got the reference? Here, mate. What are you at, lad? Look, bro. I have the bikes and beats of that next Sunday, and I need a bike I can DJ on, or I'm screwed. All right? Oh, I know who you. Google Do says, uh, Koo Holland looks like Nero. Let's check this out here. Looks like he's entering the dad race at sports day. Need the bike general. The bike general. Yeah, I'll give him a wee buzz now. So that funny little sort of uh, pulling the phone out, it was all cut off with the crop of the, the shot. So, so sad the little flourishes like that can't be seen in this new portrait age that we all live in. Need the bike general. The bike general. Yeah, I'll give him a wee buzz now. His neck's all sliced up from shaving. You know where he's got that, uh, he's got that, uh, strawberry skin? Fair play to him for shooting content like that near civilians, says Don G. Just like Lemmy. Anybody watch Lemmy's homemade show? Yeah, so that little move there he does, he takes the phone out of his pocket, he shifts his weight to the other hip and, uh, and his phone to the other hand and lifts it up to his ear. 
But a lot of that comedy, a lot of the a comedy and that action is lost. So it's all cut out and all you get is his gloriously funny face, which I am keeping a memento of. Hello, bye, channel. What do we got here? A link in the chat. Link in the chat with no description. You know how much I love that. Is this the Sky Boy thing? People really persist with uh, putting links in the chat with no context. We're gonna fall out. We're gonna fall out. Well, bike general. Do you have a bike Koo Holland can DJ on? Right, let me see what I have. Koo Holland, I love that he speaks about himself in third person. I'll bring the bikes in your e. you bring the beats. What's he using to shave his beard? A chainsaw? A butter knife, says Don Chi. He's got the bikes, I've got the beats. We're gonna own the Newry streets. He's a rapper at heart. Oh my god, his little cycling gloves, look. Bikes, I've got the beats. We're gonna own the Newry streets. Look at his little cycling gloves. <laughs> bikes. And beats. beats. On the streets. Street. Yeah, shout outs. That was Nero, aka Coolan. Coolan blessing us with some more sketch comedy. All right, so this next one, we are going from the Republican side of the rap scene with Kneecap and Coolan. I don't mean to assume your uh, political ideology there, Cuhollin. We know you are a man of the soil. A man of the cloth. We're taking it over to the other side now. Over to the shankle. Who comes from the shankle? Yep. It's the king of Belfast. It's... Young Spencey do. Tap the van. Then I'll be able to tap the van. I don't know. I don't know. Like Elon Musk. Go ask my dad since I feel like my man. I couldn't give a fuck. Life's a bitch of a dick in the world. You're worried about coming in first. I'm worried about coming in early. I think in your girl. Uh, really, really, then Max says, can't tell if their headphones are ear protection. So, what we have here is young Spencer in Amsterdam, sparking up a joint on the street. Um, and I would, one would assume, you do a line and I'll do a line, honey. You that young Spencer has handed his phone to his girlfriend and says, here, here. Got a wee video of me smoking this joint on the street, so I look really cool. Spencer, what's happening, son? son? Same old me from the shankle estate, but I'm tapped or nice on south floor. I'm on rap, I feel like Elon Musk. Rap a wee duke named Rap and Goose. I'm blowing up JDB Marley's wee buck, flying nigh like I'm down nigh. Lit to the porch, son, lit the fuck. Nah. Go ask my dad since I feel like I'm mad. Cut the mad, cut the fuck. Life's the best, I'm thinking the world. You're worried about coming in first, I'm worried about coming in early. I'm thinking you're a girl. Nah. You're bouncing up from that dick and you'll put the dick in early. This is literally my favourite song. Belfast, all round the lads. It's the Belfast Dublin connection, son. Caps don't come, the rats get out run, then he can't wanna rack or get racked the fuck. Tell I can't wanna chant that smoke, you better let we son, I lay rabbits up. Stop it, son, you're out of half it, son, you're on cue to get slapped, knocked out the fuck. Cons on a bug, wanna knock you out, and no cons on a cut to be knocked out, and no cons in here, I'll get knocked clean out, ain't no cons, they'll do nothing about it. Best MC and say the country, it's a fact of fucking girly. Don't doubt me, lovers, no doubt about it, got a gear to disappear in the world with me. Caught red hard, they're killing MC. <laughs> Yeah, and then he she cheers to a non-existent crowd. Got a bird, got a gear, disappear around the world with me. Caught red hot. Uh, uh, young Spencer is so nice, by the way. 
I don't want to get to it. This isn't a confusing double speak troll thing that I'm doing. Young Spencer is such a nice wee guy, in my opinion. Uh, Ethan Max says, is that not illegal in the dam to smoke or on the street? It is illegal to smoke on the street in Amsterdam. I guess that's what the point of this video is. How cool Young Spencer looks while smoking a joint on the street. Um, I, I think even at one point he walks past a family with uh, little toddlers here. It matters not to him because he's so cool. He's such a cool dude. He smokes dope. Spencer, Get him in prison, says Don Chi. Nice on top floor. I'm on rap. I feel like a little musk. I'm rocking two, so I'm blowing out TDB Marley's wee buck flying eye like I'm down there. Look at him smoking up a joint in front of little tiny children. You're worse than M. Dot R. Fuck sick. Fuck. Sorry yeah. for the bad language. This is a PG stream until the watershed. Go ask my dad since I feel like my man. I couldn't give a fuck. fuck. Like a bitch if I'm thinking the world you're worried about coming in first. I'm worried about coming in her name thinking you're a girl. Nah. You're bound to love him. <laughs> I'm thinking you'll put the dick in her name. Bro. That's so satisfying to sing along with this song if you learn the words. Which I have. Word. I just can't say them out loud on a show. I would be... There's a, there is a double standard for people. So, uh, young Spencer can get away with saying stuff like this. But if I said these lyrics, I would be burned at the stake. I heard Belfast all around the laws. It's the Belfast Dublin connection. Next song. Cops don't come, the rats get out. Then he come when I rack, I'll get racked up. fuck. Till I come when I chant that smoke, you've got left weeks on a late rack. It's up. Stop it, son. You're out of pack. It's on your own. You're to get slapped, knocked out. The fuck. Cons on a bug when I knock you out. And no cons on a cut to be knocked out. And no cons in here. I'll get knocked clean out. Take no cons. So I'd love to know if he's singing this out loud or if he's just mouthing it. You know what I mean? Because it'd be quite brave to mouth the word or just say the words out loud in front of people, but he's just mouthing it, just miming it. Banned from traveling to Europe uh, would not be the one, says Relief and Mac. No, not for a blossoming uh, rap career such as Young Spencer's that's just about to explode into superstardom. That would not do to be banned from any country. Um, uh, Don Chi says, People do it still, it's nothing gangster, but you will get told off by the cops. So even though it's illegal, it's like lighting up in botanics, says Don Chi. It's legal to smoke weed in botanic? I've seen lots of celebs getting arrested in the dam lately for carrying weed too, says Ethan Mack. Uh, you can't have wit walking around like it because it's intent to supply. Why would anyone walk around with wit? It's a few wee spliffs on your wee holliers. Hope you're not trying, planning to bring any of that home with you. Alright, let's finish this out. Best MC and say the country, it's a fact of fucking girly. Don't doubt me, lovers, no doubt about it. Clap a gear to disappear in the world with me. Caught red hard, they're killing MC. Whoops, there it is. Whoops, there it is. Alright, boys and girls, this is a Gunner G show. We have had wall to wall famous people tonight, haven't we? Wall-to-wall -wall bangers, one after another, famous person after star after celeb. And nothing about that is going to change the further into the night we get. We get more famous and more famous and more famous. This one, DJ Big Spin with Come Find Me. All right. If you like the Connor G Show and you want to support, head over to ConnorG.show to access the entire archive. Check out JesterNotDead.com for merch to represent like Rare Witch on Electric Picnic Stage and Glastonbury. Or more importantly, the best thing you can do is tell a friend about the Connor G Show. I exist to entertain. Coming up next, we've got Jed! Involved in a crypto scam with the creepy Christians? Question mark? Belfast goes bonkers for K-Hole's new single, Bite to Blow. We've got <laughs> Aspie making a big fool of himself yet again. Shazzy and Alan shout out Grime Man in a cracked out video. And the Working Class Podcast has been in touch. We've got Gloom Tube's debut on the Connor G Show. Zwitch gets ditched. And Demon acts like something he is doing is normal when in fact it is ins extremely insane. He's he's almost as bad as Emsy, if not way worse. You're going to decide who's worse tonight here live on the Connor G Show. Ah.